Hello, today I'd like to share with you uh, my tobacco based stain. Um, it's very simple to do, uh, very inexpensive, and a little bit goes a long way. So I'll get started here. First, I also like to say uh, I'm just really getting started sharing some of this stuff on YouTube. So I'm doing this all by myself on my iPhone, and so the quality may not be as good as some of the videos that you normally see on YouTube, but uh, like I said, I'm just getting started, and hopefully uh, some of my content will be uh, useful, and people will watch it, and we can build up over time. So uh, let me get started here. Uh, like I said, this is a tobacco-based stain. Um, I build cigar box guitars, and I wanted to... Uh, keep with the theme of the the cigars and the tobacco and uh, I was kind of researching on how to do this and I found some information on uh, on the on the internet but didn't really find anything on YouTube on how to do this and uh, I found a lot of other good videos on doing homemade stains but nothing on tobacco so uh, I thought this would be a good one to to get up there uh, first off, I got a friend that uh, owns a tobacco shop, builds pipes, and uh, custom blends his tobacco, and I was telling him about what I wanted to do, and uh, he had some old tobacco pipe tobacco that uh, had dried out on him and wasn't of any use to him, so he gave me a big bag full of it, you know, right here. Uh, this part of the project is free. The other thing you need is ammonia uh something else a couple bucks buys you a gallon of it um and a little bit goes a long way of this so like i said this is very inexpensive um basically all you do you find yourself a container uh i've got some already made up uh, uh, right here just put some tobacco in the bottom uh, pour enough of the ammonia over top of it to, you know, cover it up and just let the the juices from the tobacco soak in. Uh, give it a couple hours for everything to really come out into the ammonia and into the liquid. Uh, some people will uh, prefer to strain the tobacco out. Uh, that's very easy to do. Coffee filter or if you have another fine filter you want to use pour it through there into another container and you're good to go. Uh, I didn't really bother doing that. Uh, you know, there's enough liquid in there I can pull it off the top and like I said it's inexpensive so if I'm throwing it throwing a little bit of it out it's no big deal. Um, here I'll show you how, how I apply it here. Uh, it's not letting me switch my view but I've got a piece of oak here that I use for fretboards. I like to use a paper towel. Dip it in there. Get a little bit on there. Rub it into your wood. Yeah. Hard to do with one hand, but and with staining any other kind of stain, you want to go with the grain. And just rub it in. Now, if I can get some good lighting on here, you can see where I've rubbed it in. Uh, hopefully, you can see that. Uh, I will show you a fretboard that I have finished. right here you see it brings out the grain real nice not too dark it's kind of a, a light stain but you know experiment with it uh, try different tobaccos uh, I've I, from my research on it I have not tried it myself uh, they said a lot of people will use chewing tobacco and from my research chewing tobacco has added dyes in it so you're you're getting a dye, a dye rather than the tobacco uh, as part of your color. And um, in the future, I'll probably try some from some fresher tobacco. It may still have a little bit of moisture in it. Uh, 
see how that how that works but uh it's like any home <clears throat> homemade uh, stain at all you know experiment with it it's gonna look different on different woods of course and you know put a nice clear coat over it will also help bring some of the grain out uh, i've hoped some of this has been useful for you uh if you like liked what uh i've shown you uh please give me a like uh subscribe to my channel i hope to uh, add some more content on uh, building cigar box guitars do some short videos on some different uh, aspects of building and uh, also if you know anyone else would be interested in this uh, you can know any woodworkers that uh, wanted to try something a little different in their staining and finishing uh, share this with them uh, i appreciate it and have a good day